Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be doing my June favorites now that the month is over. So hold on because I bought a lot of shit. So first and foremost, I got the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I love this. I use this like every day. It's really typically a lot darker than your average highlighters like this. It's pretty dark. Like I wouldn't, I still wouldn't highlight with it, but I actually go over my like contour with it. But I mean, you can see the shades are just so, they're so pretty. Like I love this. So I decided to get this one because they said it was limited edition. So I don't know if you can see the swatches. Put it on a bad place on my arm. But I I love this. I, I seriously, I use it every day. This is what I have on right now. Um, I just filmed another video. I filmed a tutorial before this. And I this is what I'm wearing. But it looked almost too bright. Um, I actually looked kind of oily. So to remedy it, I just put on some like translucent powder over like after I was done. So it's no biggie, but I love this. This is definitely a staple. And the pans are huge, so it's it's going to last forever. And another favorite highlighter that I got this month is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I already had Champagne Pop, but I got this because one, it was limited edition, and two, it also had another highlight shade in it, Prosecco. And also three blushes. Um, I wasn't a very big fan of blush before um, I got this palette actually. Um, I just never really thought to use it. So I swatched them when I bought this at Sephora and they're just really, really pretty. I've had a hard time finding um, blushes that are pigmented enough to show up. Like a lot of times I don't feel like they're actually worth it. But as you can see, I mean, it's pretty pretty pigmented and they're very very pretty shades and they work on a broad range of skin tones and the packaging is just phenomenal. I'm really pleased with this palette. Another favorite is the Modern Renaissance palette. I have used this like every freaking day since I got it. Um, I was kind of skeptical at first because the shades are either really orange or really red but after seeing all their posts on Instagram um, that they've reposted from other followers using these looks. I was like, okay, so it can be pretty versatile. Um, you know, you don't even have to use the red or orange shades. And even if you do, it doesn't have to look... Like, I know a lot of people use these. These are in the orange family, but they don't look super orange on, if that makes sense. But I really love this. Like, this is my favorite palette of all the eyeshadow palettes I have. And I... I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Like, look, I'll show you. See, I got a lot of palettes, and there's even more all back here and under here. There's just a lot. So, for me to say that that's my favorite, that's that's saying something. So, anyways. I really love it. The color payoff is really great. I know a lot of um, eyeshadows, like if you swatch it with your finger, yeah, the pigmentation looks really good on your finger, but when you go to put it on a brush, whether you use, you know, synthetic fibers or natural fibers, it just, the payoff isn't really that great, but um, this palette, no problem, great color. This is what I have on right now, and I seriously, I've used at least two shades out of this every day since I got it. Like, I literally can't put it down. This will probably be a palette that I have to rebuy because I've used or I've hit the pan on something. But it's so pigmented, you really don't have to use a whole lot, so hopefully it will last a long time. But this is definitely my favorite. This is probably my favorite purchase of everything I bought this month. So I would highly recommend it. The only bad part about it is that the case is it's like felt almost and so it gets really dirty as you can see my palette's super gross because I always have like foundation and 
all kinds of crap on my hands when I do my makeup so it gets dirty so it doesn't stay pretty forever but for what's inside it's worth it so like I said I did buy the full-size champagne pop I bought that before the palette was um, released in my Sephora store where I live so I had to buy the full size Again, I love it. This is a great highlighter. Super, super shimmery. Another highlighter I love is by The Balm. It's Mary Luminizer. Um, I actually got this at Kohl's. Um, I, know you can, I know you can order off their website. and um, They have it at this place called Armstrong McCall. It's a beauty supply store. Which actually, if you get stuff there, you can get it half off. So, that's pretty cool. But... I really like this. Um, I never really heard of the brand that much until I watched a video by Nikki Tutorials and she talks about this highlighter a lot and her face was like beaming so I was like yes I have to have that. So I was in Kohl's and I was just looking around and I seen that they have this brand and I was like oh my god. So anyways I bought it and it's just So pretty. So this month I also bought a shit ton of lipsticks. Like I, I have a problem or something. So I also picked up um, by the bomb meet Matt Hughes. I got three of these. Um, they are matte. They are liquid to matte. Um, but I really like these. They are very pigmented they stay on for a long time um, I will swatch these so this is the color sentimental and it is a hot hot pink like super bright and um, these also seem to have like peppermint oil or something in them because they you can smell it and when you put it on your lips it kind of tingles a little bit but it doesn't bother me or anything um, this is the color Charming. This is like a dark mauve type color. Um, again, it's super pretty. I love this. Like This is the, probably my favorite one that I have of all of them. And then the last one I got is called <coughs> excuse me, Honest. And it's more like a corally, peachy. Um, this isn't my average color, but I mean, it is very pretty. I don't wear this on the day to day, but when the right time comes, I mean, it is very pretty, but you can definitely tell it is m definitely on the more orangey, coral, peachy side. I tend to stay more towards like um, nudes or dark, vampy colors. So I also picked up uh, several of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks and I got the shade catnip Catherine soft lilac and dusty rose so I will go ahead and swatch these so this is catnip um, I really like this shade it's it kind of reminds me of Charming, but it's a little more, um, a little more of a like, pink undertone to it. Um, still really pretty. The next one is Catherine. I saw this um, color. They posted on Instagram. Uh, like They reposted somebody's picture, and they had Catherine on. And I was like, wow, that's really pretty. So I went and picked it up and fell in love with it. Um, I wasn't really a fan of this line of liquid lipsticks because I bought a color like several months back and it was so awful and I guess it's just the color um, formulation that makes it bad but you can see that one is Catherine it's really pretty um, it's more of a reddish pink than catnip which is more like purpley pink ish they're all very similar but they're all different so you need them all so the next one is Soft Lilac. Um, it's very similar to uh, Catnip, but I think the formulation is a little bit different. I think that Catnip is kind of dry, 
but it's not near as bad as the color that I got several months ago, which that is vamp. Um, I really love the color, but the formulation is freaking awful. Like, even if you don't eat anything, this stuff will, like, dry up and, like, crumble. It's really gross. I don't even have chapped lips, so I don't really know what the hell. But, anyways, that is Soft Lilac. It's very similar to Catnip, but it's a smidge lighter and slightly more pink, I think so. So the last one is Dusty Rose. And I really like this. It's very pretty. It is more, I don't even know how to describe it. Like it's, it's just dusty. I don't, I don't know. They pretty much hit the nail on the head with the color name. But as you can see, it is, you know, lighter than the other ones, but more dusty. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So this is the shade that I got that I was talking about. The, the formula is horrible. It's called Vamp. Um, I, I love the color. I love dark. I mean, this is a little more on the brown side for me. But, um, I mean, the color is really pretty, but the formula is just terrible. I tried to like it, and, you know, I'm really surprised that I was able to talk myself into buying these other colors because... You know, I thought they'd all be the same, but apparently it doesn't work out like that. So, you know, I bought Catherine first and I really liked it. And I was like, okay, well, I'll give the other ones a try. So I went and picked up the other three and, you know, I haven't been disappointed or anything. They stay on really well. I mean, I, I really like them. So I'll probably buy more as they come out. And I know there's a couple of other colors that I want to get, but... So the last thing that I want to talk about is not a makeup product, but it is a beauty product. It is shampoo. Um, it, this is by Bravana and it's called The Perfect Blonde. Um, this is a freaking godsend if you have blonde hair. Like, so I've had my hair done for, I don't know, a little less than a year. It's been blonde. I have naturally like reddish strawberry blonde hair um so I've had it highlighted for a while and I had been using um the shampoo by Joyco and it's a purple shampoo because my hair will turn like really yellow if I don't tone it like normally I have to tone it about I don't know two weeks after I get it done to make it to the next time I go to the salon so I had been using Joyco and it actually like kind of deposits purple parts in your hair, which, you know, it doesn't completely bother me, but if it was even, it would be better, but it was mainly like in the front of my hair. And so it, it was kind of an issue for me, but, um, I went to state beauty supply and I saw this, um, I actually got a kit and it had this shampoo and conditioner and a deep conditioning toner and some spray I don't know but I purchased this bottle again because I was like oh, I love it I'm getting a liter so anyways I bought this and this is perfect if you have blonde hair or like you don't want it to be yellow um, I'm not sure how effective it would be if it was like yellow orange but if your hair is yellow and you want to get rid of it definitely invest in the shampoo because it's great like my hair, it's kind of silvery right now, and that's not because of the shampoo, it's because I use a toner that's was specifically to make it silver, but before I did this a couple days ago, my hair was like super white, and I haven't been to the salon since like the very beginning of May, like within the first week, so it's been a minute since I've had my hair done, and it was still white, and that's because I've been using this shampoo. I love it, like it won't make your hair purple, I mean, maybe when you get out of the shower, it may look, like, before you wrap it up in a towel, it may have, like, a purple hue to it, but don't worry, because whenever you dry it, like, it won't look purple. Like, this is seriously perfect if you want white hair, or if you want to maintain your silver or gray hair, or titanium, whatever it's called these days, but I would seriously recommend it. I think you can get it at Ulta. Um, I tried to look at it, or look for it when I went last, um... 
but I didn't see it at my Ulta, so I don't know if they carry it in stores, but I know they have it online because I have seen it. So it is definitely a good investment. That concludes June's favorites, but stay tuned because I already have a whole list of July's favorites that I will post at the end of the month. So let me know if you like this video and please subscribe.